So very good morning, welcome back to another video. Today we've come down to Spain Point and we're going to do some sunrise long exposure photography with my EM5 Mark II. And we're starting off today with a really simple one. We've just got a slab of concrete, we've got blue light to golden light, five second exposure, F10 ISO. 200, let's go. So I'm not gonna lie, I do love being out here. They're just me, the waves, nobody else about, and a little bit of color in the sky. And the enemy is over there. See it, it's that bit. That's a lot of cloud and it's blowing this way. And I don't think we're gonna have much of this light if it kicks off, because that's about to kill it all. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of in a race to get down to the end of this beach. There's some wooden posts down the end. I'm gonna get a long exposure photograph of them using the EM5 and the live bulb mode. That thing's moving. It's moving really quite quick. It's a light killer. It's a fun killer. It's a photograph destroyer. It's coming to get me. Sounds very dramatic this morning. Let's get down the end of the beach and hopefully we can get there before this mess arrives. All right, so now it really is that time of the day where we've really got to sort of figure out what we're going to do. You can see behind me there is still some light kicking around. And as soon as I spin around this way, you can see it just all disappears. So I think from here on in, it's probably going to be either black and white or really dull, moody sort of images. One of the things with landscape photography, I had an idea that some cloud was going to materialize this morning, but I kind of figured it might be a little bit later on in the day, or we might have had a little bit more time with all of the glorious colors and light and fun stuff before all the dark and gray and misery kicks off. So I'm gonna go play around with the posts. I'm gonna go find some groins. I'm gonna do some sort of wide angle, long exposure stuff with it. It's looking like it's going to be, well, not as pretty as I was hoping, but well, we can still get an idea. So I really wanna play with the live bulb mode on the back of this EM5 mat. So I've got the remote shut with me. I've got some strong ND filters, so let's go. Let's go kick off, have a play. And hopefully, well, this stuff doesn't ruin it too much. Crossing everything. All right, so I'm trying not to panic too much here, but there is a chance that something is about to kick off, even if it lasts for just a few seconds. So I've kind of sprinted about 50 feet down the beach. We're taking a photograph of the same post as last time out, but I don't know if you can see it, but this low cloud is just catching some sunlight right on the edge. Um, let's go, let's try and figure this out really, really quickly. I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Right, I focused on the post. I'm gonna keep the same settings as last time. F8, sorry, F9, 30 seconds, ISO 200, please work. I haven't had a sunrise photograph for quite some time. I've got everything crossed, please work. Experience tells me that that color is only gonna last two or three minutes and I've probably got one shot of this. I got one! It's only took how long to get a sunrise photo. It's been a long time since we've had a sunrise photo. I will tell you that. All right, so the sun has just risen above a bank of low cloud on the horizon. I've got these posts behind me and I'm trying to work out if we can do something silhouette with it, but leaving the long exposure element in there. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, obviously because of the sun, we're gonna to have to shoot a high shutter speed to get this. No, I'm thinking about this. This is the thought process that goes on in my mind and I'm thinking about this and no, it wouldn't work because I'd have to use a fast shutter speed to silhouette the posts out and fast shutter speeds and long exposures don't really mesh to the kind of defeats the object. All right, so I want to try something that I've never really tried before, but it is possible with a camera like this because it's got inbuilt stabilization. It can maybe get away with some semi-long exposures, maybe down to a tenth of a second. So I'm going to try that with these posts here. So we've got a post here, just not quite conforming to everything. But the posts I was shooting in the background, and we've got all these posts just leading through this frame. Hopefully I can get a sort of longish exposure and just streak out some of the water down here. Not quite freeze it, but not quite completely blare it out. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to focus on the post about a third of the way through. We're down to a tenth of a second, F7.1. Wait for a wave, let's have a look. Oh, it looks pretty cool in the viewfinder. So I'll show you that image. And we're just going to play it by ear now, I think. We are just going to play today by ear. So 
So we've reached that time of the day now where we're kind of in long exposure limbo. You see, all of the glorious light that we've had has now dissipated. The sun's now risen above the bank of low clouds, so all of the golden hour lights now disappeared. And we're just kind of left with a bit of a grey and a bit of an orange glow on things. So I think if we really want to do something long exposure with this, I think now is the time to crack on before we lose any kind of interest in the sky at all. So let's figure something out, but I really do want to play with this lifetime mode, so we're going to have to go strong with the ND filters here. Hopefully we can get quite a nice photograph. All right then. So we have the remote shutter cable, and it is go big or go home time. So here we have the 16 stop filter. That is in place. I will remember to remove the lens cap before we take the photograph. Hopefully we'll be able to get a photograph into a couple of minutes of exposure time here before the last of the very little amount of colour and light that is remaining leaves us for the day. So I best move you really, because you are in the way. Let's do that. Okay, so this is live bulb mode. So you can see the camera set at F8, we have a 16 stop filter on. ISO 200 is selected. So as soon as I go ahead and start this photograph going, you can see in the bottom there where it says display count, we also have a timer going. So every 30 seconds, the screen will update and it will show me a live preview of the photo that's been taken. It also give me a histogram as well. So in theory, I should be able to stop this when it looks about right. So let's see how this turns out. You know when sudden realizations of you might have messed up here, click into place. Well, we're currently at, well, just under nine minutes and it's still very underexposed. And I'm kind of wondering if this is gonna run for the best part of half an hour. Ah, oh, well, we're in it for the long haul. And I said, go big, I'll go home. And I'm not going home, so we're going big. So this is probably gonna be, well, somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes worth of exposure. Hopefully the battery holds out. This will be a laugh. All right, so this photo is currently, it's just past 25 minutes. And frankly, I'm getting bored. So I thought we'd do this together and you can see my live reaction as to whether or not this is going to be any good. The last I saw the update on this was 12 minutes and the histogram, it was all right. I sort of figured 24 minutes might give something we can work with. Let's just, yeah, let's just do it, okay. 25 and a half minutes. It's not too bad, it is underexposed, but let's just check for, well, there's no movement in here. It's not wobbled. It's not bad. It's gonna need some work, I'll admit that. It's gonna need lifting. And here's a 25 minute long exposure. So there we go, just another morning at the beach with my Olympus EM5 Mark II. A bit of a surprise sunrise. Wasn't expecting that in all honesty. I thought the low cloud was gonna come across and destroy everything. But in the end, it did actually help out. So a nice surprise there. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really does help my video and it helps bring new viewers to see my channel. If you enjoyed it more than that, there is a subscribe button below me. You can see more nonsense from me and my cameras every single week. And until the next time, I'm gonna love you and leave you and say peace and goodbye.